today we're making sauerkraut. The first thing that we're gonna do is thinly slice the cabbage and we wanna make sure that we're not getting too much or rather any of the core in here. So what we're gonna do is cut this into quarters and then try and get that core out. So basically what I'm doing is taking my knife down here on each quarter and slicing out that center piece there. And what I'll do is I'll thinly slice these pieces now. It's very therapeutic, chopping. Whoa. <laughs> okay, let's get this knife out of the way. Clearly Ashley cannot handle sharp objects. Okay, there you have it. Our one head of cabbage, look how much cabbage that is. It's a thing of beauty. And our next step here is to put all of this cabbage in a bowl Pour some salt on it and get to massaging. That massaging process is going to help draw water out of the cabbage and it will kind of, it will form juice essentially, cabbage juice, if you will. And we're gonna put all of the cabbage with that juice and pack it into the jars and we'll start the fermentation process that way. Whoop. <laughs> Cheeky, cabbage on the ground. One of the health benefits of sauerkraut is that it contains probiotics because it's a fermented food. If you think of any other fermented food, uh, yogurt is a very popular one. We always hear about how healthy yogurt is because of the probiotics that it contains. But fermented vegetables actually contain significantly more probiotics and are healthier for your gut than say yogurt can be. So another good reason to make sauerkraut at home so you're going to want to massage your cabbage for roughly five to 10 minutes or until you see it start to create liquid like this. You can see it pooling at the bottom of the bowl there and if you squeeze the cabbage, you can see lots of liquid coming out. That's the sweet spot. That's where you want to stop and then pack your sauerkraut into jars. Just uh, use what you have at home. There's no need to go buy anything fancy, um, but I will say uh, there is a fun lid with this one that is specifically used for fermenting vegetables. Um, it's an airtight lock, so it keeps any excess air out of the um, fermentation process. And then what's also neat on here is that there is a counter. So for example, today is May 29th, I think it is. It's definitely May 31st. You want me to do that over? Okay. I don't know what day it is anymore. Does it matter? Quarantined. So what I can do is move this counter to May 29th so I know exactly when I started fermenting and I know in two weeks this guy should be good to go and I can check him out. You do want to make sure that this has been cleaned. So run it through the dishwasher, wash it with some warm soapy water. You want to make sure that there's no other bacteria on here because that will interfere with the fermentation process. And so we're just going to pack it in. We want to make sure that it's completely submerged in liquid the entire time that it's fermenting. Whoop. <laughs> that looks good. I'm gonna pour the rest of this liquid right on top. Clean dish towel. And there you have it, homemade sauerkraut.